Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to use Provider to connect Redux and React. In the last challenge you created a Redux store to handle the messages array and created an action for adding new messages. The next step is to provide React access to the Redux store and the actions it needs to dispatch updates. React Redux provides its React Redux package to help accomplish these tasks. Uh, React Redux provides a small API with two key features, the provider and connect. Another challenge, or another challenge covers connect. So we're not going to cover connect, we're thinking about provider. The provider is a wrapper component from React Redux that wraps your React app. This wrapper then allows you to access the Redux store and dispatch functions throughout your component tree. Provider takes two props, the Redux store, and the child components of your app. So it takes the store and the child components. Defining the provider for an app component might look like this. So the code editor now shows all your Redux and React code from the past several challenges. So here we've got our Redux where we have our add message. We have our reducer that we wrote a while back. Um, we have this const of add, which I don't really understand, const of store. So we're creating the store and we're setting that to the Redux store. So our, we have a variable called store that we can use. Uh, in our React code, we've got this big display message components, which this whole component, uh, I'll stretch this out so it's easier to see. This whole component just basically uh, displays uh, uh, an input field. And then as we enter messages, it saves them to here. And it does that using its component state and it has some uh, methods that you can use for handling the change. It's constructors here, and then we're tying each of the actions to the component uh, via this. Um, the code editor shows all the uh, React store, the display message component. The only piece is the app wrapper component at the bottom. Okay, so the only new piece is the app wrapper. And so here, const we're providing, we're set, setting our constant of provider equal to reacts redux.provider. So app wrapper component at the bottom. Use this top level component to render the provider from the react redux. Okay, so um, if we're going to render the provider, we need to um, render, right? And then within the render function, we return our JSX. And so our JSX will be provider. Build error. Okay. And pass the Redux store as a prop. Provider from Redux. Then render the display message component as a child. Oh, okay. So provider... Provider. So display messages is our component, and we want to add that as a child. So we want to say display messages. Oh, that's a good sign. Once you are finished, you should see the React component rendered to the page. React Redux is available as a global variable here, so you can access the provider with dot notation. The code in the, in the editor takes advantage of this and sets it to the constant of provider for you to use in your app wrapper, wrapper render method. So what this is just noting is that instead of, I mean, I guess what we could do is instead of saying provider, we can uh, do this and that should run the exact same thing because the uh, React Redux is a global variable, but it doesn't. So I don't even really understand that. Um, let's see what happens if you run the tests. Okay, so we come down here. The provider wrapper component should have a prop of store. Okay, so a prop, we, this is a prop. And then we want to set our prop equal to, our attribute can not be empty. So we want to find out what the store is. The store is react, okay, this is the store. It's just store. Cool. And so we run the test and that passes. Okay, cool. I'm not a super expert at this and it doesn't entirely make sense why we're doing all this. Um, 
I know that React is really useful when you have a, a, have a complex application with a lot of things going on. And the whole idea here is that Redux takes care of the state management, meaning like if you have 50 th or 60 things going on on a single page web application, you want a single state um, thing called like Redux to manage that. And so we're just setting this up. And so this is just providing you some insights into the way that it looks. <clears throat> if this was a tricky one, you want to make sure that you're creating a render uh, function. And within that function, you have a return. And then that return provides a single uh, JSX element. And that means uh, provider is uh, set within the display messages. So display messages needs to be a... Um, child component of provider and then provider also has to have the store passed in as um, params as uh, take advantage of the set uh, code from the past several challenges use this top level as a prop yes this is a prop so we're passing props to our JSX components and so yeah that's that one Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.